And welcome to the Nature Journal Connection. I'm your host, John Muir Laws. Today, I want to talk to you about making a special relationship with a place. An opportunity to find your own sit spot. If I'm going to be adventuring and exploring in a place for a little while, I will look for some place, some spot that feels special to me, my, my secret hideout. I often like to find places where I'm a little bit hidden, but I can kind of peer out and see what's going on. A place with interesting plants and animals, or places where I can watch critters, perhaps without being watched. Near water is nice. In a tree is fun. But you want to find some place that is going to be special to you. Some place that you're going to want to return to again and again, because that's the idea of a sit spot. When you find a sit spot, you're going to map it, document it, describe it in as much detail as you can to get to know this place so well. So well that were you to return it to that place again, or when you return to that place again, you'll be able to see, observe, and notice what has changed in that place. You're going to want to know what it's like in the morning, what it's like when it goes to bed, what it's like in the heat of the day. All those secrets of a place unfold when you get to know a place over time. For me, when I'm picking out a sit spot, I like to to kind of find places that are kind of like a fort, where I feel like I'm up in somewhere and I can peer out and look around. It's fun if there's a place that's adjacent to water. Trees that you can climb in are also nice. But some place where you can get a little bit of privacy and just take some quiet time for yourself. And what you want to do is get to know your secret spot, your sit spot, in a special way. So I'll get out my journal, and I usually start by maybe making a little map of what are the special features about this place. You can name your spot. You can give it a special name that only you know. And you can choose to write that in your journal as well. So I'll make a map, and I'll also look for what treasures I find in this area. So here in the middle of this redwood forest, I'm going to be describing in my journal some of these cones of redwood trees that have fallen off the tops of the trees. These are the male cones that bring the pollen. I've also found some beautiful mushrooms. So I'll get into a few of the little treasures that are also here and are special in my sit spot. And then as I come back day after day, I'm going to start to notice other things, other special features about this place. Treasures that I hadn't noticed before, or perhaps changes that have happened in a place. You can also use a sit spot if you're going to, perhaps a year later, be returning to a place. If you and your family go visit the same location on a regular basis, visit number one, establish your, your, your sit spot. The next time you're out there, do the same thing. Go back to that spot, see how it's changed, and see if you can find new special things about it. You want to learn this place so well that as things are changing in the environment, you're going to be able to perceive it. And the best way to do that is by recording all of your observations in your nature journal. One of the most beautiful parts of creating a sit spot is that in addition to making deep and rich observations of the natural world around you, you're also going to have time in the quiet and the presence of that place to look inside. 
So as we're nature journaling, we've got those three prompts. I notice, I wonder, and it reminds me of. And I use those to describe everything around me. But I can also use those three prompts to look inside my own heart and head. As I'm sitting in my sit spot, I also want to take some time to notice how am I feeling? How am I feeling when I'm in this place? What is going on inside me? And I can describe that on the pages of my journal. And I can ask myself questions. How, how am I feeling? What's anything that questions that you, what do, what do you wonder about your own experience and your own response? I can describe that in my journal as well. And lastly, what does being in a place like this bring up for me? What does it remind me of? And, you know, here we're not just sort of talking scientifically or observationally about this some other thing, but really you want to invite yourself to, to examine your own self and your own heart. So those three prompts, I notice, I wonder, it reminds me of, are wonderful for exploring the natural world around us. We can also use those to turn inward and they will give us greater insight into ourselves. So your nature journaling challenge this week is to find and create your own sit spot. If there's a wild place near where you regularly explore and adventure, you may already know where your sit spot is. So go to that place, bring your journal, and document it and describe it as richly and thoroughly as you can. Both the big features around you as well as the little treasures around your feet. If you don't know where your sit spot might be, I want to invite you to discover that. So start looking around your environment and see if you can find a place where you can get a little bit of privacy, a little bit of solitude, a place where you could return to with ease again and again and again to give yourself that experience. There are some places where it is very difficult to find any quiet or privacy. In which case, you're just going to do the best you can with what you have. I know a girl who was able to successfully make her sit spot in the middle of a busy school playground. But when she would go there with her journal, she could find a quiet place inside and still be able to make observations about the changes that she saw in the environment around her and within her. And that's the experience that I invite you on today. And until next time, this is your Nature Journal Connection. Doo -doo -doo.